Posing and waiting. Oh, Lord. Picks up for Harambe. Harambe. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome to Strength in Gaming. I'm Samson Lancaster, and today we have a fun episode. We will be talking about Resident Evil Village, and I'm joined with Salvador Madrigal. Hey, guys. Subliminality. Hey. Devin motherfucking Steele's back. Anybody remember me? Yeah, you died on the last episode you were on. <laughs> you died with <laughs> all of us. I super did. <laughs> oh, the aftermath of y'all was great. But today is going to be a really fun episode. We all played Resident Evil 8. Um, and uh, most of us played seven too, so we got we got we we know what's going on, and I, I, we're really gonna break it down. There will be spoilers later in the episode, all the fucking spoilers. But right now, we're going to do the news probably for the first twenty minutes or so, and um, we'll get started with that. Sal, why don't you get us started with the news? Okay, so Jim Ryan, who's, uh, I guess he's the CEO of um, PlayStation in um, the United States, said he's way past the console wars. Oh, he's yeah. still past it. That's like last week. Yeah, but so yeah, he's still so won't allow crossplay. We're he's all still on PC. Allow, <laughs> he's still won't allow crossplay. So uh, he's obviously full of shit. That, that's Moving. kind of like, that. that's very Nintendo of you. Yeah. It's very passive aggressive or very mac things that don't play well with others yeah that's all i have to say about that that's all i have to say about that so we also had um elden ring um trailer officially drop oh that was awesome (laughs) (laughs) yes i was like load size huge dark souls mmo is it an MMO? I wasn't quite sure from the trailer. I don't know what the hell it is, dude. It's I, like probably it not going like to be because it it's, it's be. from Soft. So but I don't, yeah, I don't it didn't look like, MMOs like a me. regular game. Yeah, I think they confirmed it's up to four player multiplayer. So people are thinking relatively similar to Dark Souls. Oh, it's like Dark Souls. A couple yeah. Phantoms and Invader. Stuff like that. So, so Dark Souls Dark, again. Dark Souls. Yeah, Dark Souls 4. <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking there. I'm here for it. I'm fucking done with Dark Souls, dude. Like everything that comes out. Oh, this is Dark Souls, but it's the Smurfs. Oh, it's the Smurfs Dark Souls. It's My Little Pony Dark Souls. I'm gonna lie. I would play the shit out of some My Little Pony Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah, I think I would too. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Roll physics. I loved the unicorn level in Diablo. <laughs> what else we got? Bioshock Four. Could be a PlayStation Five exclusive. Uh, sometimes the insiders they're they're wrong. Like they get preliminary kind of like nuggets, and then they, I don't know if they assume. A lot of them though, they there's certain ones that they know everything right because they're insiders. They're they know they have friends of friends that are these same insiders that. that have been claiming that uh, we're getting another Silent Hill for the last uh, however long it's been. <laughs> yeah. Since the- no, we're not gonna get one of those. This, that's done. Unless, unless somebody buys buys out the company, and then they'll probably produce another one. But th- that series is is shelled forever. Um, that'll suck if it's a PS5 um, exclusive. It can be. It can be exclusive though, because that. Speaking of which, I'm still trying to get it. Well, I haven't really tried yet. I'm waiting. I want a PS5, but I've been waiting because I I just don't want to. I don't want it enough to to put in the effort to like sit there and try to buy one. Oh, yeah. Well, speaking of PlayStation 5. <laughs> Ratchet and Clank, a rift apart just dropped. Right. And it's getting crazy reviews, dude. It looks awesome. Oh yeah. I never the played a Ratchet and Clank badass. game. Oh man, I played They're all of them. Fun. I played all of them like since PlayStation 3. And then uh, Rift Apart, I think, was the last one that was on the PlayStation 4. That one was really good, but it's kind of short. But they, they, it was only 40 bucks, so does, it was uh, kind of worth it. Lily want to play? <laughs> yeah, she does. Like, throw does it, she throw need it. some screen time really quick? Lily. Okay. <clears throat> no, she's... no, she's like, fuck you. Not when you, <laughs> yeah, not when you want me to come. <laughs> she growled. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> he's like, no. She's so, like, no. She'll, she'll make an appearance later. Yeah. Um, too busy. What else do we got? Um, CD Projekt Red lost. Um, they're down 65% in sales. Mm-hmm. Well, he's rolling over in his wasn't, grave. Wasn't like, Cyberpunk like a okay. huge hit? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's so billions of millions, but yeah, they they um they were short. Fucking, I don't know how many millions. Like you know how they say, oh, this year we're projecting to make this amount of money, but they were like short. <laughs> Big time. Mm. That sucks too for the company because they're probably letting people go. Um, no, they're they actually they're they're expanding studios. I think. <clears throat> well, that's good. At the yeah. same time as letting people go. Yeah, they're, well, they're, they're, they're possible. <laughs> yeah, they're starting another game and they haven't fixed cyber, Cyberpunk yet. <laughs> and they started, that's what they're expanding. You. They're starting another game. And which doesn't bold well considering that the director from Cyberpunk left. Even though they're saying, oh yeah, everything's on track. We're, we're, we're making strides. And then the person who's leading is like, uh, Washes his hand and just walks away. He like disappears. Yeah. He disappears into the hedge. <laughs> <laughs> he does just sit the homer. So uh, and then they got a they got a, a director from um, Dragon Age, who's going to be leading all all of its DLC as well. Like from, DLC, like we've been not from Dragon Age too. I hope. <laughs> no. Holy shit. That's probably it. I bet you that's it. Oh, you that's that it. would suck. Because that guy got to be out of work, dude. Nobody people. fucking wants to hire him no more. He's like, what did you it work on? Terrible. Dragon Age 2. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> the position's already been filled, bro. <laughs> Damn it. So um Yeah, I don't know, man. It's been it's been a while. How about, it's like been like what six or seven months since the game came out, and it's still not not in good shape. Dude. It's twelve years in COVID time. Yeah, I've already died twice. <laughs> <from old age. laughs> I'm on my like, second playthrough of I'm life. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting <laughs> for them to to fucking fix it so I can play it. But all the all the features that they said were gonna be in it still not in there. They're still fixing bugs. Like their patches are fixing bugs, dude. Well, and then it makes yeah, like five I mean, more, right? Every time. Yes, that's that's the that's the cycle. Fix two, uh, make five. Any more. coder knows. Yeah. Any coder knows this. That's how it works. Doesn't matter what type of code the you're sinking doing. Sinking ship. That's how it works. Plug one hole, two yeah. more show up. Yeah. So every job we've ever been at. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and Devin and knows. <laughs> um, so uh, Battlefield 2042 uh, trailer dropped today. And fuck, finally, it, looks, it feels like an actual Battlefield game. Like the last <laughs> two, uh, Battlefield 1 and what was the last one? Battlefield. Battlefield's Social Justice Warrior or something. When that dropped. Um, <laughs> Battlefield SJW. <laughs> Um, Battlefield SJW like, it, It's two. cool that they went to like I think it was World War One for Battlefield One, and it, it got stale quick. Where like mm. all the other ones, like the Bad Company, I played the shit out of that one. Battlefield Two, I played a lot of that. Uh, three as well. Four, I played the most of. Like I had all my weapons maxed on different kits and shit. Mm-hmm. But the 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 next two, they were like I didn't feel like playing but this one they showed off uh i think it was a trailer there's not much gameplay it said it was using the in-game engine and then <coughs> on the 13th mm-hmm. they're gonna they're gonna show actually um gameplay for it so i'm excited dude it showed they showed the 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 trick shot where you're on a jet flying straight up you jump out of it and you, you hit the guy behind you with the rocket launcher and then you jump back in your plane and then fly off <laughs> Because uh, I forgot who who was. <laughs> yeah, there she was. Andrew, <laughs> we told Andrew what you could do in there. He's like, that's not very realistic. Because we were making fun of COD. Yeah. So they made they made fun of themselves in that. Because COD's realistic. Yeah. Yes. Come on, Sam. You get winded after like five 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 meter sprints. Being <laughs> <laughs> fucking heavy. Um. And what else do we got for the news? 
Oh, we got mm-hmm. Witcher Con. Witcher Con, yeah. Witcher Con. <laughs> Witcher Con on Netflix. There's like no <laughs> news on what exactly it's going to be, but it's in July. So is this a new thing? Yeah. Okay. I guess uh, the following's grown. Mm-hmm. Well, and you it saw looks that, like... that Kickstarter for that for the fucking Witcher board game, man. It was at like fucking eight million dollars or some bullshit. Yeah, last time I looked at it, board like, games always seem to do for well. A board game. I well, I got. <laughs> it's just I that got many a, people wanted well, it. Back it's, it's all stretch goals, right? And um, it was like um, when I I saw the ad for it, it was like four point seven million. I was like, damn, that's insane! I clicked on it, and it was like six or eight, seven or something ridiculous. I was like, what? <laughs> like it's already gone up so much since they've done that. Yeah, um, those board games are, are a cinch, right? They're. It's not like other other shit that you can back. That's like maybe you get something, or maybe it's vaporware. Yeah, the board well, games, I've they, the board I still, games, they always maybe it's something. Maybelline actually, mm-hmm. but I've I've had uh, many. Uh, I still haven't gotten some of my Kickstarter stuff. Um, <laughs> from like what I did a board game one. It was this Alice in Wonderland one. It looked really good, but I, I'm excited for the Witcher one mostly for Sal because it has cool figurines that you could fucking paint. Give Gerald a uh, ample bosom. Gerald, yeah. all right. Or Rubia. <laughs> Gerald of Rubia. Of Rubia. <laughs> so it looks like Netflix is gonna be um, digging deep into video game uh, shows. Deep. They're doing a Resident. They're doing a Resident Evil um, show. Maybe a series. Hopefully, it's live action. I think they're all supposed to be live action. Oh, are they? That's, that'd be pretty. The, the Sam Fisher one looks like it's in a. Well, I guess Cuphead can't herself. be live action, but. No, I don't know, man. They could have them fall into the real world. <laughs> well, it could be, it could be <laughs> Disney <up>. live action. <laughs> yeah. so that show that that would be creepy. Is probably gonna be violent as fuck. Yeah, Very I thought at least game. the Resident Evil is supposed to be live action. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be stop. Yeah, that'd be, that'd maybe be it'll cool actually be good. Um, they see could Mr. do it, X. dude. If 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 they focus more on the zombie aspect of it, and like not go heavily into like using liquors or one of the other monsters that require a lot of CGI, mm-hmm. it could be pretty. Yeah, because zombies are, can be straight up. Yeah, uh, you can just put makeup and shit. And even though fucking the Walking Dead use CG blood, <laughs> like mm-hmm. half the time. I was like, what the fuck is it's this? It's like that's. Blood splatter number four from. It's like, yeah, they didn't want us to put blood on the floor. <laughs> they also CG'd a whole ass deer once, and it was. Special <laughs> yeah. They couldn't find one. There's how many walk million walk of deer in the this fucking is, wilderness? Well, they they film in Georgia, so you the know. Oh, Georgia has a lot of deer. Georgia has a lot of hun- things. All the hunters. <laughs> and but it's funny one, too because. Ever since The Walking Dead, every movie or whatever we watch, when they say there's someplace else, I'm like, that's fucking Georgia. Because <laughs> I've basically. Look at them Dead. skeeters that are trying to eat them. <laughs> Dead skeeters. <laughs> the Splinter Cell one could be good. That one, that one especially, because uh, he's, he's a hitman type of game, right? They do the Tom Clancy ones that, that always. Yeah, well, Tom them. Clancy's already been a ton of fucking movies and stuff. Like, um and then Castlevania with Castlevania show is really good. I love it. It just sucks that they count six episodes a series like a, a season. That's Netflix though, bro. That's <laughs> fucking Netflix. Eight episodes is a season. And what <laughs> sucks too is they might cancel it, you know, just because it's Netflix. Oh man, right? Yeah. That the the one uh, Shadow and Bone was kind of like they were kind of shitting themselves like, oh, we're gonna get renewed. Got, but they ended up. They did. Got renewed. Oh, okay. yeah, got renewed, I mean, so. <laughs> I mean, we already discussed all that. these all these shows that that are doing well, and they cancel them, dude. I don't, I don't understand that way of thinking. It's like, oh, this one was one of our popular shows for the summer. Let's cancel it. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> I'm surprised Devin's able to contain himself with Lily just popping in again. <laughs> it's hard. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> He's screaming on the inside. <laughs> yeah. I am a thousand percent. I was I was totally hoping he would lose it because he likes doggies. <laughs> <laughs> and then for our final thing, we got BlizzCon got canceled this year. 
Is anybody surprised they got canceled? They got nothing to show. They had nothing to show. They got zero to show, dude. That, like I fucking, it's still I'm still sad because Blizzard in its heyday was one of my favorite fucking companies. You know when when it went to shit is when Activision got a hold of them. Yeah, over time was, I don't think it was, was immediate. It. Yeah, that, that was it. But yeah, I would agree. Fucking Activision used to look. They're the to EA like, of the future. And, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Do you have anything so, else in the news? Yeah, that's all we got. I said that was the last thing. Pay oh, attention. I didn't hear you say that. <laughs> I know. I don't need to listen while I'm on the show. What do I need that for? I was so, looking at porn. What am I gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> when we come back after the break, we are going to be talking about what everybody has been waiting for: uh, vampire mommy. Um, uh, sadly, Did probably not as much us? as. <laughs> yeah, Stay tuned. <laughs> um, yeah, probably, probably still one of my favorite characters. But we'll we'll, we'll talk about it. we'll talk about it when we get back from the break. And Cat uh, should be joining us. If not, I will edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back Smooth. after this break. It all started when I had that first shot of vodka. Before I knew it, I woke up soaked in gasoline, lying in a gutter somewhere. I decided to take out my cell and call Andy. The phone rang several times. Someone finally picked up. Hello? It was Kim's voice. But first we have to eat. This is Jim. He's really saying he tripled the money. We don't have the bad ones. We don't have the bad ones. We don't have the bad ones. So Sam. So Sam. He violated the German money. He violated the German money. First we got this. We don't have the bad ones. Ready to talk about Resident Evil? Yo yes. yo! Resident Evil Village. Yeah, I, I missed that when you when you hit Resident, Resident Evil, Evil Two. Alrighty, let's do this. <clears throat> Fucking camera, stop doing that. <laughs> Your face broke it. Yeah, I know. My face breaks the camera every time. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Welcome back. We are now here with Cat has joined us. A wild cat to... has appeared. A wild cat has <laughs> appeared. Somebody throw a Pokeball at it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you need a Master Ball, though, I think, at the very least. Um, so today... We are talking about Resident Evil Village. We're very excited to talk about this. I mean, I, I know we are. I know we're all very excited about this. I want to thank Subly for forcing me to play this game at gunpoint. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you, Twin. Um, because I also I also played seven, 
and uh, I haven't experienced an art uh, Resident Evil game since five, I think. And I played, I didn't play four. I think those are the only four and six are the only ones I never played. Um, but uh, I'm very thankful because I've been playing nothing but like Eve, and I needed something else, and I missed I missed something else. And it, and seven scratched the horror itch very much. So the horror but we're itch? here. The horror, the horror, 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 the horror age. <laughs> um, and uh, we're here to talk about Resident Evil Village, which is RE8. And again, I will say this one more time. After this, it's all fucking on you guys. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. This is a spoiler episode. We waited a long time. We waited a long to do time. do this episode and, because of spoilers and so that we could all play <laughs> <laughs> we all yeah we all played resident evil 8 and um some of us way more than others which we'll find out shortly um but uh yes so <clears throat> subly why don't you kick off your first impressions and then we'll just go from there tell lady <laughs> tell lady step on me, step on me! <laughs> vampire mommy <laughs> oh i loved her she we love you so, mommy she was she was, she was great i was disappointed that there wasn't as much of her as i well there yes, was a lot that, of her but there wasn't that was as like much one of my of my oh, biggest so much of her <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> in the game was that like she was the hype woman right yeah for the, the game she was the advertisement and, and in the first two lord. hours her and her daughters are dead mm -hmm. yeah and she's just one of the one of the four five bosses four yeah, but Five. she should have been like the Five. last, well, the last than boss than before that. Mother Moran. Or like, why know? couldn't she have been like Jack, who like kept coming back to life about four or five mm -hmm. times to come kill yeah, you again? Dude, fuck right. that guy, <laughs> Jesus. Jack from Seven. Oh mm -hmm. man, that was great, mm -hmm. dude. Seven scared the shit out of me. Oh, it, I was, was terrified the entire time. And it was seven. terrifying. I did not get the same amount of terror. I did get some jump scares, so I wasn't too disappointed. In yeah, that. it seems like on the on eight, they they went more um, arcade shooter type of. Uh, there was a lot of arcade game, a little of, more uh, suspense. And suspense and, and story, well, a lot really. More, a lot more. I yeah. love the yes. story. They focus a lot more on story. Yeah, I only had two jump scares, and really, that was the only like That's about scares right. that I had. I, I, and yeah, one I, of them was my fault. I was like, I was in the castle, <laughs> and. I was just running around thinking that I was safe and went through a door, and then Lady D came right through the yeah. door at the same time and scared yeah. the shit out of me. I, and that, then the that, other that time part... was in the dollhouse, like when I first saw the baby, and I was like... not expecting it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I don't think that baby's coming back from that. No, no, I don't think it is. Mm -hmm. It was it was a giant version of the thing you found in the sink in PT, Cat. Totally, totally. <laughs> uh, my my nightmare came true again. <laughs> that whole like, area that, was just PT was produced it. by Capcom. Yes, that, yeah. yes. Even, that was probably really... actually my favorite part was the dollhouse. Yeah, the dollhouse was one of the best. Like it, it was interesting because you went from, like you know, like the shoot 'em up and some traditional RE stuff to, to all to puzzle, a lot of just yeah. puzzle. Yeah. And, and and the dollhouse reminded me a hell of a lot of uh, I don't know if any of y'all you're probably all too young except for Sal played Seventh Guest. Seventh Guest mm -hmm. uh, was a crazy puzzle horror game um, where this this mad doll maker invites you or invited a bunch of people to his mansion, and um, it reminded me of a lot about that because it's like an investigative um, puzzling and and with horror um, notes. Um, yeah, because I mean, they, the they take your weapons away, so all you got yeah, is what, which what is you a classic. You have nothing, mechanic. you just have your flashlight. Yeah, a classic mechanic the flashlight. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, he has like a head head thing on or something because it's like <laughs> all, click, like, like, and it's like okay. just your feet. Just all it shows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that uh, was like, oh, sorry, go ahead, Sal. We were playing, I was playing it on the on the TV, streaming it, and Yvette. When the baby came out, Yvette jumped. Like, oh, <laughs> <fucking shit." laughs> Dude, it was it, the the noise it made was creepy yeah. because it just yeah, sounded it was like the a noise. baby in in a hallway. Like it just sounded like a loud baby in a hallway. It didn't sound like anything else, but combined with the yeah, the, the scare was just like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, the giant oh, aborted fetus yeah. come yeah, to the, life. I think when you're, I when you're going up the elevator, you're like, oh fucking. 
cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Open. The, it's right up your ass. The Beneviento house, I think, um, was not the scariest for me, but it was definitely the most um creepy. Sorry, my my dogs are barking like so loud. I don't know it's if it's okay. Can hear them. Lily made a, a good a lot of appearance in yeah, the first yeah. portion of the game. Um <laughs> it was the most stressful. The Beneviento house was definitely the most stressful part of the game, I think because of you know the giant baby that scared the shit out of everybody and the elevator part and the fact that you get your weapons taken away nobody likes that in a game that scares no. everybody and then you're timed when you're like trying to find the doll that freaked me out <laughs> that was great i love that part yeah, that was part of my favorite part yeah. where you were kind of getting dolls are all fucking shit. freaking out and you're not sure if they're gonna kill you <laughs> like you don't yeah. know and dolls dolls are creepy normally mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, yeah, I still didn't think it was all that scary though. Uh, maybe no, I was like desensitized I, because I, I had no, just played well, through I, seven. I that was like so terrifying scary, every that, single when, second. When, but when they jumped me, I got like a like a you know a small like, oh scare. yeah, like a huh, like fuck. I wasn't expecting him to do that because I mean it was, but also wasn't like it, it, it was just like in seven. And I I said this to a few of you guys uh, off when I was talking when I was playing seven, like the port the part where. Any part where you know something's gonna happen, I would just be like, <sighs> because I'm like, <laughs> yeah. it's coming, it's I, coming, I, but then it gets get you. Me. It's gonna get me anyway, and that's <laughs> yeah. why I'm sighing right now. Uh, that was yeah. seven. It wasn't like that in eight, but um, and for me, seven. I think the biggest one was was when when you grab the arm, when you take the arm, uh, when you first get the arm, and and I was like. <sighs> <laughs> and I yep. pu pulled it off and I was like, oh, nothing. And then I turned around and the fucking, like, you see just from, like, the, the waist down, the kid, Evelyn, standing outside. <laughs> and, and and she's laughing or whatever. And I'm like, fuck off with she's this like, bitch. <laughs> right now. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> but less scary in 8. Uh, but I still really loved the game. I oh, I so enjoyed 8. Um, as someone who has not played a Resident Evil game before, but I watched Subly play most of Resident Evil 7 and like caught up on like how 7 ended because I couldn't catch the end of her stream. Um, you can just do, when you first start the game, do... Um, there's a recap, right? A recap, yeah, there's, yeah, there's a little recap, but I'm glad that I watched a YouTube video that kind of explained in depth like what happened throughout the entirety of Resident Evil 7 because... I went in fully understanding what was going on, whereas the recap before you play eight kind of like left a little bit to be desired. Like, yeah, you get the gist of it, but I still wouldn't have understood everything if I hadn't watched like a comprehensive recap. Um, but I really enjoyed it. I thought the story was great. Um, I I like the gameplay, even though I feel like it left something to be desired with difficulty in normal mode. Normal was insanely easy. Yeah. Yep. And I haven't everything tried else any was others, insanely but... hard. Oh, yeah. yeah, the jump hardcore. between normal and hardcore was ridiculous. Well, and then it... even to Village of Shadows, it's like insane. Yeah, I, I, I for a tried, first playthrough. I tried Village of Shadows after a couple of tries. I was like, fuck that. That's stupid. And then when I tried hardcore, I was determined to get through it. I had probably a dozen times th the, the hardest part in the game, arguably. Um, when you with the lichen battle, the very first lichen battle was like the hardest part in the game. Um, after I finally gave up, I went through it on standard and realized that I was so fucking close to beating that part. I was so pissed. <laughs> and I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna keep now, going. Now, that one is a timed thing, right? You just have to survive. Yeah, for you a just gotta survive time. for yeah. I think two minutes or something, two or three minutes. Yeah, that's what that's what I thought. So that's good to know. Here's the um, thing, though. Once you, you beat it the first one. time through, there's an achievement. You have to kill uh, the the big monster that comes out mm. in that battle and kill thirty lichens to get right. the second achievement. And I was like, what? Yeah, the? yeah, a lot of the achievements so are. I, I backed difficult. out. I backed out and I purchased the unlimited uh, grenade launcher and just sitting in the in one of the rooms, thunk, <laughs> 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 killing all the lichens. Yeah, well, at least in the second playthrough, the you you get a lot of weapons to start with, so that helps. Yeah. But yeah, originally you have that fucking little pistol. The what is it? And a knife. The Lodi that does. It's knife. like a butter knife. Yeah. Yeah, that was another thing too that um, kind of annoyed me was they did 
the way they they set up because I'm, I'm a numbers guy when it comes to shit like especially because he's played a lot of diablo and things like that and now fucking eve but like the, the way they did lemmy's damage annoyed me because i thought for the longest time it did, did more damage than uh the 1911 because oh, it no. fucking said no. one it said 160 plus 30 like in parentheses so i'm like oh that's 190 um so i i and after a while like i think I, it was when i got to uh heisenberg's fact no uh the stronghold before heisenberg's factory so the stronghold the lichen stronghold i that was when i was like i looked it up and i was like oh, fucking hell like everybody's like no 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 that's just saying that that piece gives you plus 30 but it's 130 is the base max and and 160 is with the thing so i was like well fucking hell like it was it was a it was weird how they did that mm-hmm. um so but it wasn't it wasn't a huge deal i just i switched to 1911 just a little bit later than i should have um i guess and it did, i really liked the 1911 um but my favorite fucking thing was a sniper rifle because i'm a fucking sniper so yeah dude i was quick scoping the fuck out of the like in the <laughs> stronghold dude just as it ran up you just bah, bah, bah. the the game doesn't it has innate um aim assist i guess they're doing that for for controller players mm. it was hard i played it on playstation 5 and it was really don't, hard they don't they don't take it away for the pc there's there's still um uh, aim assistance with the hmm. keyboard and mouse, which is weird. I'm hoping they patch that out because it's not supposed to do that. I didn't notice that, that it, there was aim assist. Oh, next time you're you, next time you're playing it, try a flick, uh, flick, uh, flick aim. So just yeah, no, I was, I was, and then I just was tap in like, and shoot. When I used it, I was like an automatic waiting. headshot. Like when I started, I would I would go into a section and I would be like, okay, there's like in there, there, and there. I'd be like, pa, pa, pa. I wasn't doing anything. Yeah, no, it's a lot faster if you if you zoom out. And then move to the thing, and someone get the red. But that, that also speaks Zoom in to and the, shoot real quick. Probably the the one complaint I think that everybody has thus far is that the game was really fucking easy on 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 the standard mode. Yeah. Uh, like I don't even like what, what what is easy? Just push X. Like what is fucking? <laughs> what is? I think they give you they give easy you way enemies. more ammo. Yeah, you get a lot more ammo. Enemies take a couple less shots to kill, and mm. you regenerate up to half your health. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Because like on, on standard, I think you you just regenerate from like when you're like dying to not dying. I think it was all I noticed when you were regenerating. Because like there are points where like if you get if you get hit enough, you go down to like the lowest status, and then you're like mm-hmm. fucking limping. With a yellow bar. Yeah. Or no, you go red. into like a deep red. The red, the deep red. You start limping, and you you, know, you you feel like you're not going as fast, but it still seems like nothing can catch you. I don't understand that but um and, and then and then eventually after like 30 seconds or so you'll it the the red will go away from the screen and yeah well moving. with hardcore i think it's an extra two three bullets to kill a zombie yeah head. and you you take two hits and you die mm-hmm. at the very oh, wow. beginning so yeah until... in hardcore you got a block like a yeah lot. <laughs> yeah the blocking too that that's not something that's ex- it's one of the things that isn't explained in the game at all. And it was uh, a lot better in eight than it was in seven. So blocking oh, was yeah. like essentially useless in seven. In blocking eight, yeah. like, was my best friend. Well, yeah, in I, I eight. Think blocking blocking actually did a lot stupid. in eight. It was and then once dumb. once you get the once it you get the, the recipe that that lowers the damage, you can just block all day, dude. And yep. Yeah. Like yeah. if you had if you had the ability in eight that you had in seven, you could have just blocked Jack's chainsaw, which is fucking hilarious because oh, yeah. he's just <laughs> yeah. like taking yeah. no damage with blocking was arm. useless in seven. Yeah. Like is that a drill on your hand? Well, I'll just block that. <laughs> yeah. Which yeah, blocking also, was it's sort of huge. like it's this sort of like a mini retcon when you get to the end yeah. because it's like oh well Ethan was a superhuman anyway so <laughs> you know what <laughs> I, I kind of suspected that from from seven yeah. I was like oh this guy's infected why is he you why know is he not dying yeah and then it, when he it, reattached his arm I was like oh yeah he's infected yeah well also, you can know, also you can play that off as just silly Resident Evil bullshit guys why when he reattaches his arm <laughs> his jacket is fixed. His well, jacket sort of. It's like no, his no. jacket is sewn. It's so, but it's sewn yeah, after no, it he just pours been gone, fucking dude, liquid dude. on it. 
<laughs> magic cat. Yep. Hey, that's magic healing. Yeah, liquid. their first med, first aid med is like just magic. Yeah. I yeah. just I it can't can with that. Fix the holes in your underwear. <laughs> it's been like that in all the games. That's like a. I wonder if they kept it because it's been like that in all the games, and it's like a nod. To yeah. Older they probably games. they were probably making fun of themselves. Like, right. Well, he's gonna reattach. Oh, his absolutely. Dude, I think just leave the jacket of off. Just leave the yeah. Well, and okay, so also, look, I know I've never played a Resident Evil game before, but I definitely could recognize when uh, moments came that were like fan servicey, like when Thick Redfield showed up. I was super stoked on that, and I don't even know him. Like, I knew he was from other Resident Evil games, but like, as soon as he came in, I'm like, oh, my boy, Thick Redfield. <laughs> oh, see, I was like, fuck chris is here like chris, I I, Devin, like if you play the the earlier games like chris becomes exceedingly annoying to where like he just like he's a I, bitch I was waiting for him to start crying like because he just becomes a cry baby <laughs> he's a, he's a <laughs> right like yeah he became he's a whiny, he's a whiny bitch. bitch so i was like fuck no, cry baby's here now it's so, like i was not excited <laughs> to see him at all i was like great you he know was a bamf yeah. in eight Damn. He changed. He changed in eight for sure. Yeah, he got he got yoked out and he was yoked five, I think. <laughs> Speaking of five, though, that is actually my favorite thing from Village is uh, the fight with Heisenberg. Uh -huh. Then when the factory blows up, and he references yeah. Chris with uh -huh. the "I'm gonna get that boulder punching asshole." <laughs> 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 the dumbest shit ever from five. Dude, when you, Chris did is you fucking... know? Did you notice on the Duke sometimes <laughs> when you're like just handing out not doing anything he'll he'll say uh what are you buying and then he'll start mm -hmm. laughing <laughs> <laughs> okay one, one so my, my friend used that. to say yeah that's what that's what, what sal texted me he was like was that what a did he just meant did stranger. he just mention four so yeah. so what are your guys' thoughts on the duke because i feel like a lot of uh he's an elder god oh, hi jump what? around he's an elder god i liked him a lot actually he was one of my favorite characters to be honest at first, it I thought it was Mark Hamill that was voicing him, and I had to look it up. It's some Aaron or something or other. I don't think he, he was my favorite like character, Hamill. but I I enjoyed him. Yeah, he's interesting I, to me. I was um I think it was before the show. I just I like took a sip of my whiskey and I was like, mm. and then I was like, mm. <laughs> 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 you know, I was like, I don't know why, but when I when I see when I every time I go to the Duke, I really want a cigar. Also, he has like this really random dialogue where he's like not paying attention when you're doing something. He's yeah, like, I love that. Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wait, why are you not paying attention? Is this a reference to something? It just seems so random to me, but. Yeah, yeah I but I mean, like, a, he, he's he probably going to end up being uh, like a, a demon or something. Something more ancient than, than there's, the... but but there's not there's none of that shit in Resident Evil. It's all science. It's all mutants. It's all well. Well, I was it's, wondering. I was it's wondering bio how they're gonna. Yeah, it's bio stuff. Well, if you if you read some of the some of the reports and and like found a lot of them, I'm, I'm saying it's science they explain, fiction. They explain not what it is. Is I was wondering how they were gonna tie it in, but the that um fetus thing is how the T virus was originally started. Oh, the Kadu, right. Kadao. Yeah, the, yeah. the, the dude who developed it for Umbrella visited um, Miranda like years Spencer. before. Yeah, Spencer. And I was like, oh. Um, so that's how they're tying it in. One of the things that I... And got racist. <laughs> 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 Shiva! Um, <laughs> I, I really liked um, the... The, the, there were the, there were some pretty good twists that I was like sort of keen to, but not like with Miranda. I was like fucking Mia's Miranda, but it was the other way around. Miranda was Mia, like she was pretending to be Mia in the beginning. And one of the things that I, I mentioned before the show was like when I first started the game, and Mia just fucking gets murked in front of me. I'm like, okay. I mean, like, yep. she's died yeah, she, a lot. Yeah, I've what was the point of seven before. saving your ass? And then now, <laughs> I did, two whatever, seconds, the baby's dead. still there, yeah. so it's fine. I mean, kill me. Okay, she's not dead, whatever. Yeah, she's and, fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like, especially if you played seven, like, if you personally experienced seven, you right. actually, like, have to kill her, 
like, like a couple times. of times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, like, like I've, I've killed her three times before. That's not going to do shit. <laughs> Watching Seven, the first time you have to kill Mia is like such an oh shit moment. Dude, it was. It was It was great. stressful. It yeah. was stressful. Like, you're like, did I just stressful. really fucking do that? The difference between um, Seven and Eight, like the stress... And oh, yeah. Seven is way higher. I but, but was eight constantly is in a sense, really like, state enjoyable. of like, stress. Like, and seven is really enjoyable. Like, I, I really enjoyed I being lived for stressed it. out I, by seven. I loved the hell out of seven. I was like in some constant <clears throat> state of like stressed out, scared out of my mind, or just like completely grossed out from something or some combination. <laughs> when, so before <laughs> before I started the Resident Evil games, um, I, I bought them for my wife too, or no, well maybe she bought, them, I'm not sure, but she got them and she played, um, started playing seven before I did. And she was getting irritated with me because she really wanted to talk about the stuff. <laughs> she was like, I have to wait. But like, I, as soon as she started playing it, one, like one day, I don't remember what I was, I don't know if I was, I think I was just playing Eve cause fuck whatever. And I hear, her, I hear her in the other room going, ugh, ugh. <laughs> like, <laughs> yep. It yeah. was gross. It was gross. Yeah. I, yeah. It, it was. I loved it though. The the grossness oh, yeah. in the game. Yeah, was I lo- I lived for it. It was, it was great. Yeah. I needed like oh. so many pep That's talks easy, yeah. to like keep going and just, yeah. Like, like... <laughs> Something um I really liked about eight was um I was like looking around at you know videos that people made analyzing. Uh, Resident Evil 8 after like everyone had already played it and I found somebody who described each of the the lords of the village of um, Cinder embodied... what the lords of Cinder okay the... <laughs> the lords of the village I feel like you made a Dark Souls reference even though I don't know uh... I'm proud of you Kat for actually <laughs> Thank you. forgetting that that was Dark Souls um but uh, each lord represents like a different genre of horror, which I thought was really cool. Mm. So, like, uh, the developers actually said that as well. Oh, the that developers said that but it did feel that way too. It was like Benevento yeah, was, was like psychological horror, Moreau yeah. was, um, was Go- like, like, gore, uh, morph- morphological disgusting. horror. Um, and Lady D was gothic horror. The classics. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the uh, the in-game concept art uh, goes into detail from one of the creative directors that, like, Lady D is based on Dracula, obviously. Uh, absolutely, uh, yeah. yeah. Heisenberg is Dr. Frankenstein, so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. Like, there's there's very clear illusions, and they intended it to be that way. It was really cool. I really enjoyed yeah, it, and I liked that, that each was different and familiar in a way because they were based off of these... Yeah. like classic horror genres um and like i kept hearing before uh resident evil 8 came out that like you know there there's vampires werewolves and a merman and i was like what a merman what are you <laughs> yeah. talking about yeah, <laughs> not even he's yeah like a he's swamp not thing. a merman <laughs> a swamp man but his his uh icon is a mermaid Yes, Which, that's true. I, yeah. I didn't even I don't even know why, but I didn't even like make that connection. But yeah, it was it was a mermaid. Yeah. So I thought there was gonna be like some sort of merman. And then like I got confused with She was um, waiting for um Aquaman to come out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like and I got confused because the lichens are actually Moreau's thing. Uh, which I thought they were Heisenberg's thing, but Heisenberg's thing is the the machines the machines and yeah. the metal so i don't those know those guys it, were cool too yeah. yeah the when they block their heart so you know that's a that's a mechanic that they should put in when they make shit harder just they're they, they protect their weak points instead of i just, would throw you know, i would throw take, pipe bombs they, or or drop mines in front of those assholes and wait for them to get hit and that would just black black oh the landmines were great yeah i used to <laughs> fuck out of those sniper rifle Right oh, as yeah, dude. Right as about to come in, they'll 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 move their arm out of the way and you shoot them in the chest twice. Also, right they... after, like if they miss and they pull back, you mm-hmm. get a second too before they cover it up again. I yeah. use the landmines for all of those walking uh, mach- machine soldiers inside the factory. Yeah, landmines. I use the landmines. Like the fully and then... armor, the jet guys. You have to you have to use um yeah 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 landmines or some you sort of blast them. weapon. To the fight armor. with the fight with the airplane engine was fun. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> was... Not on Village of Shadows. It's not. No, no, no that would be awful. I would imagine yeah, all that fire. It's, I love it's how. Worse than you think. 
I love how Heisenberg is like, shut up down there. So is 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 uh is Village of Shadows Dark Souls mode then? Basically. Okay. Yeah. It's it's yeah. you die in whatever two maybe three hits if you're lucky, and everything takes a shit ton of ammo to kill. So you better have like infinite magnum or infinite grenade launcher going in. So basically, it's hardcore, but even more ammo for enemies because mm -hmm. hardcore was essentially two hits dead. Although I think uh, I think a couple of enemy placements are also shuffled on Village of Shadows. There's more enemies. No, absolutely. But so only I did, in a few I did, spots, though. I did play um, uh, Village of Shadows. So I played Village of Shadows first because Heather said, "I think you should play this on the harder skill level." And that made sense because the if the game is easy for her, she knows that you know it's 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 probably not going to be as easy, or it'll be easier for me. And so I did. I played Village of Shadows, and no, don't do that first. <laughs> like if, if, you, if you're really no. hardcore, sure, play play the hardcore. You, if you're really if if you're persistent, you can get it. It's fine on the first playthrough, but. Um, in Village of Shadows, the very first thing that I noticed the difference between because I played Village of Shadows for the Lycan fight and um, Hardcore for the Lycan fight, the first Lycan fight, and <laughs> Village of Shadows starts you in the in a fucking house with two Lycans in close proximity, Ooh. where you have to fight them inside the house. You whereas, can't get hit, right? No, two like two hits. Two hits, you're dead. dead. Yeah, in absolutely. Village of Shadows, yes, you can survive yeah. one hit. Um, if you have your health fully upgraded from all the meals from the Duke. But I basically, think basically too. in that situation, you. But at the either, very beginning, you're fucked. Yeah. Like, you, there's you no meals use, at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. No, it's only if it's been like New Game Plus. But there's yeah, no, no meals game, yeah. and there's no no weapons. I literally had the, a fucking you pistol the butter knife. <laughs> with hardly any ammo and a butter knife. And so, like, you would have to, you would run out of ammo immediately, and you would have to try to kill them with the butter knife. I, Good. I think the best I did on that on the first playthrough was um, killing one of the lichens, and then the other one would kill me because, like, I, I'm out of ammo, I have no health, and I just can't. Like, and, and I didn't get the blocking down at first either. But next, again, that's a mechanic. It's, it's. It, I like that. It's it was just timing drop. for the blocking. Yeah. No. Yeah. The, well, li literally, you could. Well, I don't know if it's the same in the other ones, but in standard, you could just hold on to block and wait, <laughs> and then they would hit you. <laughs> like it was, yeah. it was kind of dumb at that point. But um, <clears throat> if they're, I, 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 I still maintain though, and again, I don't think I've said this yet on the episode, is that it's basically eight. So I think I feel seven is way more Resident Evil than eight. Oh yeah, and yeah. yeah. That, seven um, felt. I mean, both of them are not standard Resident Evil games. No, they're like, not they, They're both Resident very Evil. different than but, a usual but seven, Resident seven Evil. But seven felt way more Resident Evil than than eight did, and eight felt like uh, Dark Souls with guns. Not <laughs> eight, the skill eight level. Eight felt more Resident Evil to me than seven. Seven like was just a completely See, I don't new get game. That. I don't. I don't understand. I, I don't. Seven I don't get that felt at all. like Outlast to me. Yeah, that, that was gonna be my point. Was seven is just hey, Outlast is a cool game. Let's do that and call it Resident Evil. Yeah, it, it, yeah, which is it, cool. It, it but like they finally, they finally got got around to how how is it related to the rest of the Resident Evil series? It's like oh, Spencer, blah blah blah. But it doesn't. It's like they, they just rebooted the the game series and say hey, supernatural stuff now. Boom, here you go. It didn't yeah, they just anymore. completely changed. Is it supernatural? I still don't feel like it. Could, it, it is 100. Uh, like, I don't. Ha I'm well, not here's from, convinced. From eight, I'm not convinced from, with beyond a reasonable doubt that there's supernatural from eight, you intervention. You can kind of glean. Eight. You can kind of glean where they're trying to go with it. They're gonna go somewhere around. Oh, this is like an ancient organism, right? And that's. So, but the, that would still be science, though. Uh, science fiction. It well, would still be sci-fi. It's well, it's and, science, but it's it's. it's well, is Cthulhu is I Cthulhu mythos science? Bio Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it's science, it's but it's also an old fantasy old monster. Yeah, and no, it goes Cthulhu back to what, is a god. It goes back to what god. Sal said, though, god. like about the Duke. Sal said mm. that the Duke, yeah, is he's like probably going to be sort like of some god. elder god or something, some ancient organism. And doesn't he allude? Doesn't forever. he allude to the fact that he's kind of special, like towards the end of the game? Yeah, he Ethan says, is like, "What, what are the fuck you? are you?" And he goes, "I don't know, something different." <laughs> but he he says like and he's like the them, though, doesn't he? The the castle 
Dimiscu. Um, all the women there don't want men. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Dimitris. Dimiscu. Dimitriscu. Dimitriscu. There's no Q um, actually. But anyways, ha ha ha. Dimitresque is how no, they she don't. They don't. It. They don't. Dimitresque. Like Dimitresque. Those were to the two like. They don't like men in their in their castle. It's like it was pretty much all women that no, were. Death by men. snoo snoo. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, God, cats, I love cats, her. But to cats, allow the cats Duke correct though, to, they don't uh, hate men. Uh, they fucking love them. They but, yeah, they just, yeah, they're them. delicious. The best, that's the best fucking meal. But they allow the Duke to fucking come in and and just set up shop anywhere, and they don't do anything about it, which makes me. Do think you think they more... can even get to any of his blood vessels if they try? I don't know, but <laughs> I, I'm, th- I'm thinking he's more powerful. I, Lady D might. Have you seen her that. nails? <laughs> yeah, no. Like... No, yeah, he's like definitely he powerful. He's definitely Maybe, powerful. Yeah, which makes me think that he's more powerful sure, sure, sure. than Miranda. That's why he's allowed to just roam freely. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. Like, if 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 they're actually going to address that, because I mean, it's Resident Evil. They might not even address that. Well, they I don't, don't think they will. The, yeah, it's just going to be fan theories. Yeah, it's just I like think, with the stranger. Well, the stranger, he just he's there. He might he might show what up in the buying? next game when we follow Rose. Yeah, yeah. So speaking of which. That fucking just like straight up. Oh, okay. So we're waiting for Resident Evil Nine now. <laughs> the end yep. of the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I totally mean... saw it coming from the very beginning that Rose was gonna be the next protagonist. Like I knew it when we were trying to piece her back together. I'm like, all right. Yeah. So when are we gonna get Rose's game? That was that was a metal as fuck, by the way. And Dude, to me, right? very Dark Souls. That's the story up. progression yeah. though. That's gonna have to happen with her. It's it's gonna. It's gonna go more Dragon Ball Z, right? They're just gonna keep upping the ante to <laughs> fighting world is destroying. Ethan's gods gonna and come stuff. back from the underworld after he yeah, does it's, thing, it's, and he's gonna. Have I don't see to how they're gonna do it without without <laughs> without making it even more ridiculous, right? Because she has super, she's stronger than Miranda, so she's gonna have these crazy ass superpowers. But I, even if, though... if they're gonna do something like that, they need to they need to do it like uh, I don't know if you guys saw the game Control, where it's like a third person and she's she has like psychokinesis and can chuck shit. It have to be like that. It can't be first person with like, well, these crazy powers. But I mean, first, technically, first person is great. I getting through it. seven and eight, you're also um, playing as someone who has superpowers. Yeah, you're, quote you're a superhuman. Yeah, because Ethan's infected from the first whatever yeah, power. But he didn't, of seven. He didn't, he didn't have um, not just Heisenberg infected. He was actually killed. Or, or First, yeah, he was dead. He was straight up murked. Yeah, <laughs> he was murdered. Murdered. Red rum. Um, the story of seven is rum. so sad. That whole family. So it's sad. great. I fucking loved the story in seven too. It was beautiful. It was beautifully fucking hills have eyes. Fucking yeah. shit. Like and eight wasn't as sad because they all kind of, you know, willingly seems like they willingly yeah and, and again right at the beginning like if anybody had an emotional reaction oh. to mia getting shot to shit like what is wrong with you <laughs> you already yeah, killed her she like got three shot. Times. i was like yeah i was kind of more just like oh come on like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, really? like she's fine get up mia shut the fuck like, up again really? <laughs> yeah and then chris rock walks in and i was like what the fuck chris rock <laughs> what? chris rock Big walks in red field <laughs> baby in. chris rockfield Chris Bro, he's in. yoked. Chris rocks in. He is fucking yoked. I think I think my favorite people, like the the ones I'm thirsting over, Lady D at the top, and then Thick Redfield. No, no, I I'm can't thirst over him after it. seeing him just ball his eyes out at literally. Well, I haven't seen for that the past few she games. Does. I haven't. I just can't like disconnect. And I that. won't. <laughs> That's I won't toxic ruin. masculinity, Subly. Well, I just. <laughs> I won't ruin, like, he, he does nothing. Like he does did, nothing, though. Did he like, cry he just... in five? Yes. I'll... I only remember <laughs> six. The fucking peers or whatever the stupid guy was. That was such a. Trash. He's allowed to have feelings. <laughs> it's the... Yeah, it's just it's, it's, it's excessive. Evil like team. I know. It's, it's... <laughs> yeah, he got like, uh, exposed nerve. Like the rest of the the series, but it gets progressively worse as it goes along, and he, now he's just total bitch mode it's like no i'm emo right now but i'll tell you but i'm emo though oh man but the the Just scene in the scene in eight between him and ethan at the end where ethan like hands over rose and 
saves the fucking day. Was, there was a little feels. There were some feels. I had some feels. Yeah. Well, yeah, that goes that goes back to the story that she was telling at the beginning. The story yeah. of the little girl who went into the forest. Yeah, the fairy tale oh, thing at the that. end fucking wrecked me though. Like because <laughs> it no because you, you watched it in the beginning. In the end, it's. I mean, I do think that they changed it a little bit. But there's well, no, they don't. They, they don't tell more. you. They don't tell you the. They don't tell you the the ending at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. She, 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 and and, and it's like, so much more impactful at the end. Um, so that that, I got, knew, that got me. Yeah, Ooh. I knew that it was foreshadowing the entire game. But even even me knowing that while I was listening at the beginning, I was mm. I was so caught up in the what the fuck is this? This this is Resident Evil. Yeah, this it is was like a that weird was star. weird. It was yeah. it was like dark fucking uh, child of light. Yeah, it was cool. It was it was rad. But I was like, this is not what I expected, and yeah, it was so different. Like, threw me off, and so, so I, I think, think I couldn't it was pay like attention. If child of light listened to My Chemical Romance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think going forward, they're going to start going more supernatural, like ancient gods type of thing, you know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see, Sal, look, because look I still do not think that just because they are pulling out like classic horror stuff, I still think that it's going to be uh, science fiction. I, 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 I still don't. I know. I, know, well, I, know. I mean, when they, when, they, when they went back to the, what was it? The B-A-S-S? Bass? BSA, yeah, the yeah, BSA. BSA. They were using zombies as bio. We the well, the bio weapons is in the shop in the in the chopper. I was like, oh, they're still using the the zombies from the T virus in Europe. Mm -hmm. And that's where they're going back. They're going back to Europe. And how how does that how does that go for your supernatural? Uh, well, because the whole angle. thing is origin is that that the muta mice in fucking fetus thing that's where they got the t-virus from it's a variation of that well the fungus. the, the mega my seat is where miranda got her power from spencer got the progenitor virus from africa yeah. and then later developed t from the progenitor so it's technically separate but i mean the mega my seat is referred to i think a couple times as um the black god or something like that it is very like old godsy mm -hmm. but it is yes. just an organism Yes, like, exactly. So people, people are ascribing that to it, but people that are are especially okay. So here's one of the things about village, right? You're in a, like a remote village where these people are 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 withdrawn from you know today's society, the world. So these people would think that these these things like Lady Domitrisk and 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 Heisenberg and 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 um, fucking I don't remember his name and the doll lady. Moreau. <laughs> I'm sorry, Donna. Moreau. Donna. <laughs> Moreau and the Moreau and the doll lady, Dom, Dom, Dimitrescu. Are you, are uh, you trying to say Tom. Dominatrix and and Dimitrescu at the same time? <laughs> no, that's actually that's actually um, part of the origin of the name. <laughs> what Dominatrix? Yeah, no, d d no. The, there was someone that's talking about it, like Dim Dim Dimitrescu, Dominatrix. It's 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 pronounced like both ways in the game. Um, but anyways, on the character. Yeah. What I'm, what I'm, well, that's not what I was talking about. What I was talking about is that these people in this village would see these people as gods or supernatural beings because they don't understand. Right. Them, right. right. Well, they, they that's why they pray certain, to I, Mother Miranda. I still Miranda. think that it's going to try yeah, they to worship, explain they it with to, to science. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. There, there's pseudoscience behind everything. There always has been, but it kind yeah. of acts like supernatural stuff. Yeah. But that's like it's kind uh, of a combo. Well, okay, yeah, so this, maybe yeah. Well, this, with the with the seven and eight, it, it it went more of a they gain supernatural ability abilities instead. Yeah, it of, pulled know, away from just the straight up abilities. Um, where Wesker can fiction. dodge bullets and shit because he's he's enhanced with the T virus and then he turns into that big monster and then Chris punches a, a meteorite or a yeah, boulder. The, right? the mold is definitely the right? more supernatural than any of the previous. Yeah, virus. they they, they yeah. went. They're starting to go more towards Elder God. You know, um, Lovecraftian type of monsters. I mean, yeah. I'm well, there was definitely a Lovecraftian feel. I'm totally into that. And I, I mean, no, I'm I into like the science fiction zombie aspect of Resident Evil as well, which I know I've never played it before, but like I know a bit about it, and I've seen playthroughs of other games, just not like all the way through. But I know that it's such like a popular franchise, but I do kind of like this shift that they did. 
Well, it, yeah. it's kind of like with four. It's four it's, it's a good way to revive the series. Mm -hmm. Four was also a remote village run by occultists and stuff. Yeah, there was yeah, a lot. Yeah, eight of felt well, very much like four. I never it is played basically four, but... four to Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I saw a bunch of people on Twitter now saying, I like, go "Why back are you going to remake four? four? four it was it. very good. Four was very mm -hmm. good." They call you a puta. Unpopular opinion. I don't like four. You don't like all. four? No. I like I the inventory that's... management, but that's about it. I like the, the movement was a lot better. Well, no, four was still kind of janky with the movement. They've always been janky. Even fucking eight was janky on PS5. Movement oh, felt yeah, terrible. The, the turning around and the aiming. Well, I sure. will say yeah, this. Everything control. felt terrible. So, I didn't, didn't play PS5 it on PS5 controller. But, but um, it did. So there was a problem that I had when I first was playing for a while, and that for a first-person shooter, when you when when you're moving around, um, I always felt like my mouse I had accidentally turned the DPI down. I'm oh, like, that was yeah. God, that's what I'm stop. saying. Why are you fucking moving? God damn it! The movement, the uh, movement, still tied into. And then I, I would it, turn it, it up, and then I would and then I would end up in the menu. It was and be overshoot. Like, yeah. <laughs> overshoot. It's because it's built for playing with the control. That's yeah. why. But I, even on the controller, I, I, it, it just felt. It has the bad. It, I had to get used to the mouse being slow because I run my mouse. I think my let's see. Oh yeah, okay. I run, my mouse is normally at nine thousand DPI, um, and it felt like I was at forty five hundred DPI, mm -hmm. and I. I kept turning it up to 1600 DPI and then it felt a little bit better. But then when every time I'd go to the menu, I'd be like all over the fucking place, you know, because they, they, I felt like they didn't have a very good balance with the, for the mouse, but it sound, I didn't realize it that felt they, like that on PlayStation okay. five too. Yeah. Yeah. And eventually I just, I just, I left my mouse as my standard 9,000 DPI. But it just, didn't feel like that in seven. Which was, no, seven was really great. frustrating. Seven was because I seven, played both on PlayStation Five. I played seven, seven just the was, you know PlayStation Four version, and then poor you know, Resident Evil Eight. I had the the Five version. It felt beautiful on PlayStation Five. Like everything was fluid and smooth. You played even seven just on, like on PlayStation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh. yeah, I played both on PlayStation Five. Okay, um, even just like trying to pull a trigger felt like clean and smooth but then going on to eight oh if it, everything was terrible like his movement felt like he was like just kind of boxing like this yeah and he like i had to turn off um the trigger halting that they did because i couldn't shoot i couldn't shoot you do one shot and like it locks up on you and so i had like you i've we would get almost dead from monsters because I couldn't load up and shoot fast enough. Or even with the knife, trying to slash with the knife. Yeah, the knife was horrible. Mm. I mean, the knife sucked anyways. Yeah. I used it a ton. I killed a lot of enemies with the knife. The knife was terrible in but, 8, but you got, um, I think it was... There's um, a lot of achievements for using the knife on yeah. shit. Th there, was a, uh, there were two knives, I think, in, in 7. The second one was way better. Yes. And then and then you could also when when you did uh, I think it was called Not a Hero play as Chris Redfield. Um, and then his knife was fucking nice. Everything but, with his yeah, was he has just the crown bit. Fucking, yeah. You can kill pretty much one shot somebody with that knife. Soy boy Redfield in seven. <laughs> Soy boy Redfield. <laughs> He's so tiny. <laughs> I mean, I use the knife a lot in eight just to give myself maybe a little bit more challenge to the game. I use it a couple of times, but I I I I seriously I used it more like, than the handgun. I'm just gonna I use the handgun the most because oh, I didn't too. like I didn't like um, one wasting ammo with the other stuff, but also just I don't know. Sometimes I just it was like it just seemed more convenient to pop 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 with the handgun really quick than pulling out my shotgun and going boom chick chick boom it depended on where where i was yeah yeah i mean once you upgrade the shotgun it's it's beautiful and then yeah. the last handgun that you get once you upgrade that uh it's fully automatic and that was awesome oh you're talking about the, the 1911 scorpion. or the, mm -hmm. the, the scorpion. scorpion the scorpion yeah the scorpion um i didn't i didn't buy the scorpion i bought the um I only had the enough AK? to buy the 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 shotgun. 
You can't get the AK on the first playthrough. That's no, on the second one. I don't think I bought. Isn't it an AK? Weapons, which is a, there's, like, a, there's one that second costs hundred and no, there's one that costs one hundred and eighty thousand. That's an Chris, assault rifle. Chris has an assault rifle, and he yeah. can have that. It's new game something plus, similar, but, now, but, Yeah, but it's in just regular new game. There's a handgun that behaves like kind of like an no, assault rifle. No, almost, there was but on on mine on my first playthrough, there was one that was one hundred and eighty thousand that I didn't buy because it has a lot of fucking upgrades on it. Hmm. And it was it was it's, when you get the scorpion and then you get that one as well. That one's available. Yeah, so I, I purchased the scorpion because I was gonna upgrade that one to the. Also, when Sal immediately when Sal said I got like ninety percent of the achievements on the first playthrough, I was like, "Bitch, how come I can't see your achievements?" I went on Steam, I don't see shit. <laughs> you gotta turn. Uh -huh. You gotta change your fucking permissions because picks are, are nothing. It didn't happen. Oh, is there, there a permission for people to see your achievements? I don't know. I went, no, Receipts. like everybody, everybody else, like, like, for example, I was very competitive when I first got Beat Saber. I was watching Cat's achievements and I was like, bitch, I got to fucking, I got to get past that. <laughs> <laughs> and so like, let me see if it shows um, me my ah, achievements. Dude. That's weird. Your, that doesn't show your you achievements, that I didn't, I didn't see, I don't see, you can't see your achievements um, if I go to you on Steam. Okay, okay. Okay. Quick time out though. I think it is actually really interesting to know. For each of us, how many RE games have we played? And for eight specifically, like how many of the challenges slash achievements did we do? Yeah, I got um, about. 40%. Well, there's the thing though. They didn't start putting achievements until the PlayStation Four one, I think. Double right? Steam. Are we are we talking about Steam achievements mm -hmm. or in-game achievements? Because I feel like some are of them both? overlap. Are they both? I only see no, that there were. They're, there's only Steam. They're basically the same. Like the in-game challenges give you the achievements for the most part. Yeah. Okay. I, only meant I thought that there were a anyway. lot. I thought there were a lot of achievements. So in... On my first, there, there is a lot of achievements, but they're my first playthrough. I the got. Same. I have forty-eight percent of the achievements, so I didn't. Uh, really... first um, playthrough, I, I have forty-nine percent of the achievements. Fuck you, cat. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, cats. And I didn't even try any other modes. This is just normal mode, one playthrough, 49%. I'm going to have to destroy it, you in some game later. It doesn't. It shows, <laughs> it, shows, it, shows, it shows some achievements, but it doesn't show my challenge um, achievements on it. No, it doesn't show anything, Sal. If I, go, if I go to your fucking Steam page, it says that something about this person not choosing to share anything. It says no information. Like, there's nothing. I can't even see. Like... When it was funny because normally, so no, no, right no. now I understand that. What I'm saying it shows like game achievements, but it doesn't show the challenge achievements on here. I don't care, Sal. What I'm trying to so tell that's you, what right we're talking now, about. No, 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 no. I have like Sal. Shut up for a second. I have 24 <laughs> achievements on Steam. You have non-existent achievements on Steam. I can't see. Yeah, I have I have 24 exist. achievements, but those aren't the ones that I'm talking about. I'm talking about after you beat the game. It gives you CP points based on how all these little achievements that you got, which right. are the challenges. Right. And I had like ninety percent of the challenges done. The only ones that I didn't. Oh, okay, have so are, he's not talking about Steam. boss. So even no, talking no, about in game even, achievements. So this is a this is a walk back. Even if he was able to share his Steam achievements, which apparently he's not, um, it it they 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 would be about the same as mine then, because he said if it was twenty four, that's forty eight percent. Those aren't the those are the, those aren't the challenges. Those, those are the steam. Those are the achievements for the game. They're not the challenges. If you if you go into the game right now, and you go into into there's goodies, the in game achievements. Bonus yeah. bonus material. There's in game challenges where you it there's says kill three hundred zombies and you get this much amount of CP, which allows you to purchase the the infinity um, um right shit and and dolls or some shit like little yeah. figurines. That's why I was like, are we talking Steam achievements or the in-game? Yeah, oh, so, yeah. So, so right at the off, end of the game, I had like 71,000 CP or some bullshit. Yeah, I so I, I was I was able oh, to buy the infinite the infinite grenade launcher. I, didn't, I don't I remember. Didn't, um, I, didn't, I would have to get I didn't, my PlayStation out. I didn't spend yeah, any of my in. CP. So, like, I stopped the game after that. Like, I did, I did, I think the number was 71K was, I don't know what that translates to, but that's how much CP I had when I finished. I only bought a lady d concept art i think so i was like i have to get this and then i think that's Wait, the only no. thing i bought with my point i think i bought some i think i bought concept art maybe but I'm, i i i i kind of pieced out after that because you know i had to i had i had to chase the dragon and eve <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm addicted to kills bro i can't help it
<laughs> but yeah, it, once you get the infinite grenade launcher, that first, the first, um, the first uh, lichen attack. Yeah, it's like dunk right through the. Door. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I can see infinite grenade launcher being amazing. And then I ran out and killed the the big hammer guy with the fucking grenade launcher. So, so how many achievements did you guys get? So, me and Samson got about the same 49 percent. Uh, well, they no played multiple times. That's, I think that's basic, think right? Devin For your first playthrough, you only get like twenty four of them. A lot of them are replay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then, then the rest of them are probably right. playing at a higher challenge modes and stuff. Devin, um, I don't remember the first playthrough. I know, like, because I did four or five playthroughs. By the end of it, I had pretty much everything that wasn't related to mercenaries mode. Woo! But yeah, I mean, that was a lot of playthroughs because it's like playthrough yeah. each difficulty, or I mean, the highest that you do unlocks the early ones. So you do mm -hmm. Village of Shadows once, and it unlocks all four. You no, know, you got to beat the game within games. three hours, right? Did you? Were you oh, it can it <laughs> could be yeah, done in less than two because um, yeah. Dom from Gen Fail Podcast. Um, He's was a speedrunner. That fucker's yeah, I, a speedrunner. Yeah. He speed Did ran you know it uh, while I was playing, and he said I got it in. You wouldn't under think two, it'd be on the count of how hours. fluffy he is. <laughs> yeah, I think I did it in like two and a half. I love you, Dom. I wasn't like I'm not a speedrunner, so an actual speedrunner yeah, could do it faster. Right. Once you know the critical path, it's not mm -hmm. it's not hard yeah. to speedrun. Dude, he's he speedran Cuphead, and I was like, "Fuck, dude, I'm fucking impressed right now." That's a hard <laughs> yeah, game. My, I Pretty intense. That my old man we need to have them back working. on, man. We haven't had them on for a while. Yeah, the I love Gen them. Fail guys. We we need to have them on again and like do like a game day or something. Yeah, we need to we need to do more. We need to play more games together. I know. As Sal says, I don't fucking group, and uh, I'm gonna prove his ass wrong by grouping. So uh, we need to play more games yeah, together. Like, hey, my wife drunk... counts. My wife hey, counts. we got we got drunk fast up, though, tomorrow. So <laughs> yeah, we have a spot open. I'm we just do. saying, we do. Just saying, you could be drinking and dropping and swerving. Oh, I was trying <sighs> to convince Andrew to do it, and he was like, maybe. So I'm not maybe. counting on it. Aww. I don't know. I don't know Andrew. what my plans are tomorrow, unfortunately, <laughs> but. That's something that uh, our listeners can definitely check out on Strength and Cats uh, Twitch or check Subliminality's Twitch. Check out the VOD for that particular instance. Uh, drunk, drunken, 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 Phasmo. Phasmo. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Balls to the wall, Phasmo. No, this is brujeria. <laughs> it's a brujeria. He's got a bigger vape, okay, guys? It's not the size of the vape that counts, okay? It's what's inside that counts. It's all fucked up and get you. <laughs> I'm 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 smoking uh gorilla glue. I don't know what Sal has. I just I just drank um pretty much this much of a margarita. <laughs> <laughs> this is much of a I'm fucked tomorrow when <laughs> I'm <laughs> fucked. <laughs> You gotta make I'm pina coladas tipsy. tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, cats are already fucking three sheets. Yep. So what that's why we'll play with? the easy rules tomorrow, not the hard ones. Oh, this yeah, is I'll a... the hard ones. I don't know. Pineapple Express. <laughs> Pineapple Express. Nice, nice. I gave my mom Kush. <laughs> Hindu. <laughs> I gave Hindu her Kush. Kush. Yeah. No, I don't know. I just said it was one of these, so it was mm. just a robe that said Kush on it. I don't know. I don't I even know get... what Andrew and I have been smoking lately, but it's good. It doesn't matter. Salmon. Salmon, <laughs> smoking salmon. <laughs> I'm one of those boring nicotine only people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Subly's one of those nothing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Subly's a straight. You edge. gotta take she up a vice to. before you get I any have older. To. You gotta, you gotta get work. good at doing something before you get older, and that that way you can be like, like me, it's alcoholism. I'm yeah, an alcoholic. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. yeah. I got alcohol down. That one yeah. I can do. Twins got then, wine. It's all yep. good. I'm and a, you yeah, gotta, this guy about up to here twice so far. And then you got to do <laughs> hard, <laughs> hard drugs like meth. Yeah, like, I feel like we real should good at meth. Drunk by like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I got to have some uh, dinner, but after that, I'm down. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, there's, I, I really liked, I really liked, like to sum it up, I really liked Resident Evil 8, Resident Evil Village. Um, to me, it had so much like influence as far as the story and the level design is concerned from like Dark Souls. And mm -hmm. I feel like 
it was just a fucking beautiful game. It was it was oh, yeah. very pretty. Everything yes. everything that I saw, like literally can, can we can I, we can we talk uh, about the waterfall though? I, I'm i I'm yeah I'm getting to it. Calm <laughs> down. <laughs> calm <laughs> calm the fuck down. Um I I I literally I like I it was my first playthrough. I got to that puppy. point walking. <laughs> Shut up, puppy! You, you gotta puppy. Ha, you have to you have to get Lily on in a minute here. She um, heard the excitement. But uh, yeah, it's Suki. Um, I I when I got to that point walking up to the dollhouse uh, and saw the waterfall, I stopped. I took a screenshot. I paused my game. I alt tabbed out of the game. I posted that screenshot in my chat with Devin, and I said. Uh, beautiful view ahead or whatever like the, the dark souls fucking you know like gorgeous no it's gorgeous view gorgeous ahead. view yeah gorgeous view and um and sent that to him and then it went back to playing because like i had to it was beautiful like that that yes. it was like holy shit and then and even like the did every everything that was designed like beautifully grotesque or just like i mean i'm coming come on lady d right i mean and her daughters like they they're <clears throat> they hit Sam's goth button. Like, yeah. Apparently they're very gothy. <laughs> can, can I, I loved the people? goth. But, but I I yeah. want here's the thing though. I want to be Lady D though. That's my thing. Like I that's the power. I, you want to sit on people, how, huh? I want to yes, I want to be <laughs> 9 feet tall and have all the assets and the claws and just that and, and just be perfection. I, I, yes. Also, exactly. I want to embrace your truth, baby. I just want to yeah. say she was actually <laughs> fucking scary. Like, there were points that she got me. Yeah, she was one. She was one of the um, the jump scares because she's roaming around the castle, and d during that point, and and she got me. You know, like I was like, open the door, fuck. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah. Just like, that got as, like, me once. Because I was she, just like, you know, da, 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 just running through, and then also, yeah, yeah, oh, she fuck. was. <laughs> she was there. like the tyrant, Mister X, yeah. nemesis. Yeah. Like, Right at the bat, where 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 you um you're trying to leave her her boudoir, yeah. She just well, walks through the also, door. There you are. <laughs> well, when you when the what? daughters when the daughters fucking hook you and shit, I was like, eh. Mm. <laughs> like, um. Also, okay, so there are mods where yes, there you are. Could, oh, the, the thick you mods. could see Lady D in like just her lingerie. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, like the fly swatter. The problem with those is like they didn't look, they looked too like her skin looked too perfect and stuff. I think it would have yeah. been much better it, if it looked more like she did outside of the dress or I right because she oh my god something I appreciated so much in like the real version is that she's she's not perfect like she's got she's got a, some like butt wrinkles you know she's she's got like the cell you, you can <laughs> like, see like a little cell I like that term butt wrinkles butt wrinkles she's got like a little bit of cellulite on her thighs because she got thick thighs baby but i was like damn she still looks so good <laughs> yeah like, suppose, so like supposedly she was like oh. when she became what she is she was like 40s or something like yeah that. she was so, in her 40s she's yeah. like 44 something like that 44 45 um and then her age halted after that but yeah. damn she looks good for for mid 40s let me tell yep. you <laughs> yeah. i want to look that good in my mid 40s shit i don't look that good now like <laughs> yeah right <laughs> me too <laughs> same <laughs> But that, those are my closing thoughts, I think, on Resident Evil 8. It was a great game. I loved it. It was beautiful. Um, yeah, sure, the difficulty leaves something to be desired, but it's still it's still better a better like initial release than a lot of games out there right now yes. that are AAA titles. Yeah, so. yeah. and uh, you know, I was nervous about spending 60 bucks on a game that was not going to be 20 yeah, hours long. that was the but... thing, too. Like We didn't even address that. I felt like um when first it was like expensive but i also like i put when we purchased it when my wife and i purchased it we got the 70 dollar for seven and yeah eight and that was that was like perfect yeah that, that was fine i had no problem because at that least part. it's like 35 per game you know yeah instead of like 60 for one but but you know it, I, I would say if they fix the difficulty maybe 60 is fine yeah, it was still yeah, a little pricey, but I 
I had a good experience, so I didn't make it. I don't know if anybody that. played the teaser, though. Like, the teaser was a good chunk of the I, game. I did not. Which was kind of I didn't, I didn't play the teaser, that's one but of, I watched other oh, people yeah, play it. Yeah, the, the demo. Yeah, like the, the demo was demo. long. Up to, yeah, up to um, where you go meet that lady's house. Yeah, the demo was very long compared to how long the rest of the game is. Like, it was probably at least a quarter of the game. Yeah, which I can see how that could be annoying. Like, if you if you played the demo and then you paid sixty bucks to play the rest for of like it, eight more hours, it doesn't that 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 wouldn't seem so. Like, I could see how some people could feel cheated in that instance. Okay, so I'm gonna take like the super elitist classic game asshole vibe, and just say that's how the series has always been. Though they've never been really no, I, yeah like more I mean, than that, ten hour games. That is how it is. Yeah. Anyways, True. it's just. Like RE3, OG RE3 was like maybe seven hours. Yep. So it's. Yeah, they're always pretty short. I guess just the fact that the teaser was so long compared yeah. to how long the rest of the game ended up being. Yeah. In part, like, they, like, they bank on replay value. Yeah. Yeah. And Which, yeah, I that's understand. That's like, that's, that's how the games are. Like, they're never meant to be 60 hour Is, games. Subly, have you played more than one playthrough? I've only done the one so far. Okay. Do you, are, are you intending to play another playthrough? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I plan okay. to go through again. So then oh, yeah, at me least... Too. Okay, so... Okay, then that's more... So I'm probably the only one that's not going to do another playthrough. So it sounds like there's a lot of replay value in that um, because we have a, a varying amount because I wouldn't consider every single one of you a completionist. Well, um, dude, I fucked up and sold some meat that I was. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now I did I that my first playthrough too. Because I missed yeah, the first playthrough, I couldn't find all the fish. So there I was like, me neither. The I was missing that I wanted like to make that I couldn't meals, find. But, um, but my wife told me, um, you know, the f she was like trying to not do it without spoilers. She was like, um, when you see fish after you the castle. <laughs> Make sure you get them, but I still, I still, I had like two of the more rarer meals. I didn't get those done because there were like a couple ingredients that I was missing. Yeah, I didn't See, get a I... few of them done. Yeah, I'm missing some fish and some some meat, some actual meat because I sold yeah. them. I, I like to like scrape the environment super hard, so I actually went back to Louise's house in my first playthrough. Um, I think before I did the stronghold or something like that. No, even earlier than that. I don't remember when it was, but whenever it was, I found the like high quality pig meat. Mm -hmm. Right. And it was like yeah. a good two or three hours before uh, the the cooking was even a thing. So I ended up selling it. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, cool. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You get one yeah. a playthrough. Oops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, too, was um, I was also warned about combinable things. Like basically, Heather was like, you know, like if it says anything more than just valuable, don't sell it right away. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I accidentally sold a combinable item after I even knew about combinable oh, items. Hush. I was I was combining mm. things, but I guess Get I it. just accidentally hush. sold one. No. And I couldn't complete no. that achievement. What's going on? We can't hear anything. Be quiet. What is happening? <laughs> we can't hear whatever that is. <laughs> You muted oh, he's muted now, now. Now we can. <laughs> now we really can. Now we really hear. can't understand what's going on. No, I, I, mm, I thought I was muted in the first place. Oops. No. <laughs> no, one of my one of my cats is just parked right outside my door and just yeah, like, screaming repeatedly because she wants. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she no, wants to play so bad, and Meow. my wife's not here. But yeah. I, I, I think uh, for this episode, that's. Um. That's all that's, I have to say about that. That's all that. I have to say about that. That's a pretty good amount. If anybody has any last thoughts, I think, I, I mean, I love the game. So. Okay, so Loved I definitely it. have a last thought, which was I've played every single Resident Evil game that's been released in the States, at least, because there are mm -hmm. a few like Gaiden that mm -hmm. fucking Japan. But mm -hmm. I played all the US release. <laughs> and I'd say for me, at least eight is probably, it's almost, it's either my favorite or my second favorite, second only to OG RE2. Because RE2, oh. the original release is so good zapping okay. system all day yeah i haven't yeah, played I've, the 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 sec the remake but i i love the original games so the, re the remake Eight is, is top really three. good but i really liked i really liked the 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 remake of one on the game yeah, the remake of one is epic i liked remake two better than og2 mm. did you yeah i did but three was actually <laughs> my favorite Devin, devin's like 
Uh, Three no. was my favorite. I'm just thinking, man. I'm just thinking. <laughs> Yeah, said, original, no, original, approval. original three was was great. That yeah. was my original favorite. three was my favorite, and then I played seven. So now seven is my favorite, and then three, Gosh. and then I probably put eight. But original two had the zapping system. Yeah, but... I'm so into the zapping system. I don't even remember what Which, that is. No, nine out of ten people would be like, okay, <laughs> what? Just, but, but, yeah. So, but, like, there's four campaigns in uh, two. The original two. So there's Leon A, Claire A, Leon B, Claire B. So if you do Leon A, then you go to Claire B and vice versa. And basically the zapping system is if you pick something up as Leon, then later when you play as Claire, it's not going to be there and vice versa. So it's just like uh, this kind of added layer of complexity with uh, items and shit. And it was just super revolutionary at the time. And I love it. And they didn't put that, it in the remake. That does sound cool. I like that. And I like Mr. X. <clears throat> I don't know. I, in original two, I like that when you down Mr. X, you get shit. And you don't get that in the remake, but the remake, he's a lot more intimidating because he can actually follow you. Whereas in the OG, it's like, just leave the room and he despawns. Mm -hmm. It's not that yeah, threatening. You just, you just have plot armor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> plot stealth. No, the nemesis. Is stars. 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 Breaks the wall. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, I look forward. Oh, yeah, the to remake. Nine. The remake of three was fucking. Was... Yeah, remake. I... We don't. We don't talk about remake three. It's like the prequels. <laughs> it doesn't exist. No. But yeah, I like Resident Evil. I, oh, I love Resident Evil, and I'm glad that we all played it, and that I played it because I'm playing anything else. So, um, and 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 um. Again, the horror that I got from seven was really nice, horror. and eight was just it was a beautiful game. So I wanted more in eight. Like yeah. I was living for the horror in seven, and then yeah. like eight just fell completely flat. And so there I was, was actually a, disappointed was for a long time that if, yeah. there was no horror in eight whatsoever. After how just like completely terrifying seven was. Yeah. Again, hills have eyes meets fucking Last of Us. Or regular Louisiana. That. Louisiana. Or Louisiana. Louisiana. <laughs> Louisiana. That is Louisiana. accurate. Or Louisiana. I, I feel like it's super subject subjective because I don't actually, I didn't find Seven all that scary personally because it was so well, rude and jump said... scares that it was like, I can be shocked for a second, but like, I don't know, as like a super silent hill nerd, I just. I don't know. I wanted like nothing to do with anything with that horror. was going on in seven the entire time. Like I did not want to be there. I didn't want to go in the building at the very beginning. Like I didn't want to start. So like the entire time I was just like, nope. I think nope, I'm nope, 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 nope. Yeah. definitely in between Subly and Devin on that. <laughs> I'm not, I, I, wasn't I, quite I, I like, I have a huge fear of bugs though. So like seven uh, like really catered to like Mm. my like deepest fears that, yeah. and like that a sure dirty sense. swamp house that's gross yeah there like, was just I don't like, like gross you know there was not one thing that i like wanted to move forward with inside right. i just like, it, wanted to just leave i didn't want to be a lot there of gross to yes. me. <laughs> which which is which is scary birthday, in its own way the birthday puzzle was fun <laughs> that was great that was fun <laughs> especially one thing when I will the say. clown grabs you <laughs> <laughs> One thing I will say with eight is I do feel like <laughs> uh, this is kind of like whether this is a pro or a con depends kind of subjectively, but I feel like it kind of just brought everything together. Like the Beneviento house had kind of like the jump scary sort of outlasty horror vibe. Yeah. Uh, the Domitrus castle had more of like classic RE and you know, they kind of like married all these different styles in the different areas, which yeah, no, I it did, yeah. appreciate, but it can also seem kind of like disjointed depending on the person. I, I, think I felt like it was, I mean, I felt like it was a little disjointed for a while because it took me a while to figure out like what exactly was going on in in eight. Like I knew exactly what was going on in seven and I, I wanted nothing to do with it, but I had to do it. <laughs> but eight, it took me a while to figure out it's like, why? Why am I doing this? I found it um, interesting yeah. because I, w I was also like, I didn't fully understand what was happening until, of course, like towards the end. But I feel like that also was how I felt when I was watching Seven. I'm like, why? You know, our our motto when when you're playing your playthrough, Ethan, why are we here? 
What, yeah, what are yeah. we doing? But why are we here? My title, every stream <laughs> title was Ethan, why? <laughs> why, why, are, why, why are we doing why? this right now? Why are we doing this? Why are we here? Um, but I found that it, it drove me forward. And I think that the, the four lords being so different and embodying different styles really lent um some fun to the game because i was like okay we got this one now what's next like like what's the next <clears throat> boss gonna be like what is the environment gonna be like i just enjoy like it's a beautiful game and i enjoyed the environments that came with that the environment game. was very nice yeah yeah I, but yeah i, I wish resident scary. evil would moving forward maybe make the bosses a little bit harder in the future i know like bosses have never been well bo bosses like, in difficult seven definitely and harder than eight yeah jack yeah. fucked me the fuck up <clears throat> So many Jack, times, Jack was tough. Dude, then, in the was garage, hard. that looked that looked really hard to fight. Him uh, in the every single battle with Jack was hard. Like it took two or three tries every single time I saw him. But like every boss in Resident Evil Eight, first try, easy peasy. Like mm. it was a joke. Who, the, the only I think the only reason I had... that I had to do um, Miranda twice was because I fucked up and literally went in with no extra health at all. Yeah. Like had no, none. Yeah, I, that'll I, do it. I, I, the, 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 <laughs> the fun one, by the way, the fun one is Heisenberg. Or two. <laughs> the fun one is Heisenberg on Vilja Shadow's difficulty. Oh? Because he can't heal on the fucking mech suit. Yeah. Oh. But I never but needed I to heal with him. Yeah, he never hit me because he would just block. He never hit me. Yeah. So I don't, like, I. On Vilja Shadow's, it's. Yeah, like, it's, it's a I, little tougher. I was bored, honestly, once I got to, like, Heisenberg. I, I still and thought beyond, the because it was just was easy. Fun. I thought it, and the tank was fun. Yeah but, yeah, but there was like there was no challenge. You just like unloaded no. the ammo dump. The on only him. times I had a hard time were with an optional boss. Um, when you go back to the Beneviento estate oh, the and you go back to the grave. yeah the graves. Those, oh, yeah, those dudes, the were, boss those dudes were totally fucking the, the, ex, the, the ex guard. And I wrecked you can, every you can single cheese one him. Of them. Yeah, I reckon you can cheese the the axe guard because you can just run back up the path and he'll leave you alone. You can also do him the same. Reset. You can do him dirty, just like the 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 um, machine half machine guys. You just drop a mine or throw a fucking pipe mm -hmm. bomb at him and he gets. Well, stung. yeah, I just used like all my best ammo on on this guy and he took a lot of my ammo, which is why yeah, I the think treasure it made guards it harder are for me later. ridiculous. Yeah, but it, then the rest easier. of the game bosses are so easy. I mean, that's like a Resident yeah. Evil yeah, the, thing in general. Like like the they've never had good fun. bosses. Like they, they were, they it's were, easier they later were when you when you go into the mill and you have you have to fight another axe guy. You can just ping him in the dome with the magnum. Like Big boy auto four shots. Yeah, I, I didn't have a lot of magnum ammo. In, in terms of um, in terms of difficulty, though, Village of Shadows Miranda is like literally a Dark Souls boss. Learn the patterns. Yeah. Know how to dodge the specific attacks like yeah i can see her really fucking somebody up on village yeah. Shadows. yeah she's she's a souls boss on village of shadows so that that's a lot of fun but i mean that's pretty much it for difficulty i just want more on standard because that's what i started out with you know yeah, that's no, what i start there, you know a, most resident evil games on is like normal too difficulty. much of a gap right like yeah it's the standard, gap is too big standard needs to be a little bit harder Standard is a new easy though. If you notice with a lot of the newer yeah, games, yeah, but there's another the facade. There's, on, there's one but there lower, isn't, there's one below it though for easy. Yeah, that's like super easy, but a story. Um, mode. It's like super easy yeah. baby fun time mode. Like yeah, it's, <laughs> it's story most, mode. Most games, mode. most games nowadays, you have to play it on hard to get the actual like normal playthrough. I'm honestly and though, they, I'm they fine did that, with that for for filthy casuals like Sam. That's why the, <laughs> that's why they lowered it to the standard version. To make it a lot easier. It is. I have played more Dark Souls than you. I'm, I'm honestly, no, I'm, <laughs> I don't, I don't even seek like challenge in games necessarily. If they have a good story, if I want challenge, I'll go play Dark Souls yeah, or good old right. God Hand. Go yeah, on fucking I, challenge, play Eve. Fuck you guys, bro. <laughs> Eve is, I Eve is my really job in dragons in space. I can't. <laughs> Spreadsheets in space is hard. Yeah, that's, bitch. A, that's all Eve is. Is the, hey, there's a dot way <laughs> out there. Okay. I don't know. Seven I, felt just one, a little bit more balanced two, on the three. standard difficulty being yes, just no, a little it, bit of a challenge. A, well, that's, and the bosses as well felt a little bit more of a challenge I, than I wonder if part it's of that because too. eight was gonna be so popular because of vampire mommy that they just didn't decide not to make it super hard. Maybe a big part of that too, mm. and uh, one of you can remind me because I haven't played seven since it released. I don't know how big crafting was, but like 
in eight at least, you could craft ammo Cra so fucking quick and easy. That no, crafting was not it's never as a problem. No, no, in, it wasn't. As, it was. It was a hell of a lot harder to get the items. And, items. And, items were rare. Crafting yeah, was. was I thought so, but I was like later. seven. You you had to actually like think about. Okay, should I actually kill these grunts or should I just keep running around them? Yes, like, I actually did. Like there were a couple. I did not kill everybody uh, because really. I just was gonna then just when be I came completely back, like, out of ammo. I, I think I killed everybody eventually, but like at first I would go back and forth through, and then I think I found the grenade launcher or some more yeah. shotgun ammo. Yeah, there were quite something. a few spots I where I just left the grunts. I, and I just kill. knew how to run around mm -hmm. and, and that, that is more killed everything. Horror. That is more survival horror as well as to be like you don't kill everything. Some things you should just avoid. Yeah, yeah, but in eight, oh. I just killed everything. Like, yeah, yeah, eight, so I had killed everything. Ammo, galore. Yeah, right. ammo was super. Especially, plentiful. especially yeah. the stronghold where you just, or, or even like when when you're Chris Redfield at the end, like I appreciate oh, that, one, that yeah, you yeah. had like yeah. so much fucking ammo. Like yeah, you never, you basically had infinite ammo good. at that point. I was streaming I never that, ammo. and people were like, "Don't worry about ammo. Literally, just go ham." And I was like, Sweet, "Thanks, just guys." Just fucking <laughs> blap everybody. Just I kind of like. I kind of liked that though, because it's like it's Chris. He's been through this how many fucking no, times? No, I liked it. Kind of should I be right, it. Yeah. yeah. So when, when, I, when I when I sent you that, I think you you misunderstood when I sent you the screenshot of the the um inventory. That was Chris's inventory, and that's what I meant that I appreciated. Yep. I appreciated that I had mm -hmm. like a stupid amount of ammo and all these fucking guns. Yeah, it it was fun to have a shit kicking segment where you didn't have yeah. to like really worry about anything. But it yeah. wasn't the whole game. You but know? yeah, that it should have just been the whole game. Yeah, it should have just been that segment, not not you know, also Heisenberg. All the time. Right. Yeah. yeah. Basically the same deal. I mean, with the tank, mm -hmm. you yeah. had unlimited because the, ammo. Because the, the Chris Redfield uh, section is basically like the opposite of like the the dollhouse, the Beneviento. Um, it's like the yeah. opposite, right? Like you have right. everything versus nothing. Well, I think it's yeah. They uh, they all they the shooting we... versus running and yeah. hiding in a closet or under a desk or whatever from the giant baby they give you just like a mindless mode where you just pop heads like fucking crazy just yeah, yeah I, so I, many, I appreciate like, that especially the yeah, it, was fun. Yeah, it, it made strike. you it made you feel like a like, <laughs> we just paint the target for an airstrike fucking airstrike killing machine <laughs> especially after you've been if you played seven as ethan and then you went to eight you know ethan's just been through a lot so it was like nice to be Chris for a second and yeah. have all of the resources available to you. That's probably a, a decompression um, area, right? Because when, yeah. when, when it got right back though, Ethan. when it got back to the the final port portion with yeah. Ethan, I was like, "Are you serious? I thought I was gonna get some of Chris's shit." <laughs> 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 because there was, um, I think it, I don't remember. Oh, it was when you play as Mia in seven and afterwards it like says you have all of mia's stuff or whatever. yeah like, you he, you like retain everything that Mia. i was expecting that up. to happen with chris <laughs> like, no no like, also it. that was kind of cool that you got in seven which i didn't play but i watched subly play i thought it was cool that like you switched from ethan to mia sometimes and when you were mia you were in the eyes of the video camera like her recording i thought that was cool i thought it was a cool mechanic yeah, it was, it was kind of their way to address, like, we don't have multiple protagonists anymore, but, you know, you can have segments. And it was cool. Yeah. Yeah. I did. I, it was a, I don't know. It was just an awesome game. I loved it. Yeah, and I can't it wait. Was. I, I, I really want to. Yeah, it was a fun game, but 60 bucks? No, um, it's not worth 60 bucks. Yeah, that's going to be arguable. I think, like, I, I, it depends, right? If you played the demo, then it's probably doesn't feel like it's worth 60 bucks to you. If you got the fucking awesome deal that I don't know if it was on PlayStation, but I know it was on Steam, uh, where you could buy seven and eight for 70 bucks, that was the best fucking thing. I, I like, that think was that was just Steam, but I'm awesome. not sure. But I think it was. That was that was that was perfect. That was absolutely yeah, well, perfect. Yeah, thirty five so, bucks you know, for the game. I, is, I personally right. would recommend you play it on PC on Steam. Forty bucks would have um, been. But a, if you have good if you have price. a PlayStation Five and you need to use it since there's like only two games on it right now, uh, so it was all right on yeah. PlayStation Five. It just the controls were just not that great. Yeah, PC Master Race. That's why. <laughs> yep. Lady, Lady D for life. Step on me, vampire. Yay, mommy. vampire think... mommy. We love yes. you. Yes. On my face. Death by snoo snoo. <laughs> I 
thank you everybody for listening. This was a, a fun episode. I was, I, I feel like we need to do more of this kind of stuff and I think we will. Um, but next we will have a really fun live event for you guys. Uh, dates to follow. And uh, we'll be doing, uh, if y'all remember our death nut challenge, we'll be doing a bean boozle episode on Twitch which will be similar and live streamed and i'm i'm still not certain whether this is worse than the death nut or not and we're all right. participating i'm not immune we're all participating it depends all on this time. How cat those, is not immune how and how the, uh, the is has agreed to participate taste. like i tried I the harry Devin potter ones on i've that, tried but... the harry potter ones and they weren't that they weren't I've... that bad I've done bean boozled before. I'll say Death Nut is worse uh, the you know the night after or the day I after. Have but bean be- bean boozled oh, yeah, is worse no, in one. the moment. Yeah, that's what uh, it sounds like to me. I have a very <laughs> I have a very sensitive uh, sense of smell and taste. Yeah, I, I threw um, up doing the beans. <laughs> <laughs> that's something to look forward to. Great. Fuck. So tune in next time, guys. We'll be getting bean boozled and 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 doing a, a quiz amongst other things the challenge that we'll be doing but thank you everybody for lis- thank you everybody for listening we love you have a good night you motherfucking nerds bye bye thank you so much to all the nerds that listened you can find us at strengthengaming.com or email us at info at strcast.com And if they just did it for a second, it'd be cute. But no, they'll just sit there and then start screaming <laughs> for attention. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver, last thing, close off. I just put, I just like put my lips on his ear, and he like freaks out. I'm not hurting him. <laughs> just literally, like, like grandma biting his ear. <laughs> Yeah, I nibble my cat. Grandma teeth. biting? Yeah, it means it's like, no teeth. I, uh, Gumming. I do that. That's oh shit. That's Speaking mm. of canines, so.